How you're going to decide which one is feminine which one is masculine we also learned a few of our colors as well as we learned some family members yeah so i'll go over that briefly and i did have some suggestions given to me saying that they wanted some captions so that way you guys will be able to read along as well as pronunciate and put these words together for phrases and sentences if you are new, make sure you go and follow me on Instagram at D-E-E underscore underscore M underscore. That way you will be able to include yourself in the quizzes that I do host and you will be able to win you a goodie bag. Every fifth lesson, we will be announcing the winner of who won the goodie bag. So if you get right one of those quizzes, your name will be taken and drawn, drawn later on. That's how we are picking out our names. Once again, if you are new, make sure you subscribe, turn those push notifications on, and stay updated with us learning these Spanish lessons, as well as the Motivational Mondays, and we have also included the Blue Room to get your mood going through music. Last week, we have went over the days of the week. We're gonna start with Domingo, Sunday, Loomis, Monday, Martez, Tuesday, Miraculous, Wednesday, Jueves, Thursday, Venice, Friday, Sabato, Saturday. So those are the days of the week, starting from Bingo, Sunday, through Sabato, Saturday. Domingo to Sabato, Sunday to Saturday. The colors we went over last week were azul, blue, purple, red, verde, green, gris, gray, maroon, brown. We will be learning more colors, and this week it's a little bit interesting because dealing with these colors, it will be feminine and masculine. So it is two ways you will pronounce these colors when you are describing an object. Let's go over our numbers one last time, and then we'll be moving on to our week five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, Ocho, nueve, diez. Once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dece, si, dece, siete, dece, ocho, dece, nueve, vente. Vente uno, vente dos, vente tres, vente catorce, vente cinco, vente seis, vente siete, vente ocho, vente nueve, frente. All right, that is our numbers one through 30. I hope you guys have got there with us. So you guys, when you are describing something, the adjective will come after the noun. So if we're saying the big house, it will be the casa grande. The big house will be pronounced the house big, backwards and sense, if that makes sense to you guys. So we're gonna start off with our colors that I said is gonna be feminine and masculine. You know, when we're dealing with la leche, which is milk, you're gonna say blanca or blanco. La leche, feminine. So you're gonna say blanca, the milk is white. And it is feminine, so you're gonna say blanca instead of blanco, which is masculine. So blanca, blanco, white. Amarela, amarello, yellow. 
Negra, Negro, Black, Marara, Marado, Purple. So now that we know those colors have two different ways that you will be using those when you are describing anything. So, La Leche is feminine. We're talking about an airport, El Aeroporto, let's say, Marado. El Aeroporto Marado. The airport is purple. So that's how we're going to describe it when we're talking feminine and masculine. I need you guys to understand that with these colors, the way that they're ending is representing the way that that word has ended. Okay, let's talk about transportation. Transportation is fairly easy. So that's why I said this is going to be very short, sweet, and simple, and yeah. So as far as transportation goes, auto, auto, car, auto bus, auto bus, is the bus, caravana, caravana is an RV, train, train is a train, avion, avion, airplane, so these are our different types of transportation. Let's talk about the houses. House is casa. Apartment is departmento. This week's quiz coming up, I will be asking you guys, where do I want you to take a ride with me? Where do I want you to take a ride with me? Okay, listen closely. Las rutas del Altibus giran y giran. Las rutas del Altibus giran y giran. The wheels on the bus go round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Tomos el grande Otibus Amaralo. Do you take the big yellow bus? Do you take the big yellow bus? Tome el grande Otibus Amarillo. O te gusta el auto rojo? O te gusta el auto? Rojo. O te gusta el auto rojo? Or do you like the red car? Or do you like the red car? Venade on paseo conmigo a mi casa. Venade on paseo conmigo a mi casa. Come take a ride with me to my house. Come take a ride with me to my house. All right, like I said, you guys, that will be the answer. Where do I want you guys to come with me? To mi casa. Mi casa, su casa. So yeah, this lesson is gonna be short and sweet. And I want you guys to stay updated. Keep going and learning on your own. If you have any other things that you guys want to learn and you want to learn how to properly pronounce or you want to form sentences, reach out to me. Let me know. And I will definitely put your suggestions on here. I will definitely put your suggestions on here. Thank you for five weeks of learning Spanish with B. Stay tuned for more.